Hi guys, it's Luke from Beard Tech here, finally back with my review today of Muvavi Video Editor. This is edition 12. This is a supremely good editor and I want to give something back today, a 30% off discount code if you watch to the end of the video. And I do recommend this video highly. It does contain affiliate links in the description below. But this is something I would recommend anyway for anyone to use who is beginning film editing or even wants a pro level editor for a really budget price. So stay tuned for the review that's coming up right now on Beard Tech. Let's do it. Okay guys, this is Luke from Beard Tech. We are in my PC here and we are going to check out Movavi Video Editor and see what it can do. Let's bring it up here. Muvavi Video Editor 12. Now this is an editor in a similar vein to Windows Movie Maker or Filmora by Wondershare, but it has its own unique features, its own unique overlays, its own unique filters, its own unique music, and it even has really, really good text overlays, which is what you want if you're doing tutorials like I do, if you're doing game um, movie editing like lots of gamers on YouTube do. This is a supremely good editor for doing that kind of thing. It chops up your videos really well, it can slice them well. It has so many features. Green screen, color correction, absolutely anything you want in an editor is there and it exports at high definition. So here's your interface when you open this up. As you can see, you've got create project in full feature mode. We will do that for sure. Has a little step-by-step -step guide here, but I will guide you through this. And Movavi has a really, really good um, theme set. Everything's unified, it all works. Your preview window's here. Your bin for files, etc., is here. You've got sounds, so this is different sound effects. Music, sample videos that they've given you, and backgrounds to play with. And there is quite a few decent looking backgrounds there. And your own files, and you can actually add your own folder. So I'm just gonna chuck in a few videos here and show you what it can do. We'll put a few transitions in, we'll put a few different um, filters in and see what we can do. So let's get some drone footage happening. I always love using drone footage for little demos such as this. There we go, some mountains and some Hawaii footage. Now, we will need to, at the beginning, there's a bit of text here, so we will chop this up. And it's quite a bit foggy at the start so we'll click here now all you have to do to trim is click exactly where you want to trim press split click the clip before and press delete and there you've trimmed your video now at the start of this it does have its own music as you can see and here absolutely breathtaking footage but automatically this program detaches the audio and drops it down below you can just press delete and there goes your audio track. And it even has a volume slider here where you can slide a huge fade out or set another point like this, see? And you can fade duck in and duck out as you wish. Lots of other editors don't do that, that I have seen. So this is an incredibly good one. Now we wanna add a title to this, so we'll click titles and here we have all the custom made titles that they have created for us. And look at them, there's so many and they are really, really good. And to preview them, just click on them. There it is. Click on a different one and there you have the preview. Studio, look at that. You have a magnificent looking uh, text overlay that animates itself. Now I love this kind of overlay. So we're gonna drop this in the top here. We want it with the footage. And all we have to do to edit it is double click. And we can resize the frame here, like this, if it doesn't fit quite right. You can move it around where you wish. You can change the color of these also, with the color dropper, color of the text. So you can change that to black to stand out a bit more. Change that to black also to stand out a bit more. We can change the color of these animated bars here. It's just incredible. So let's go white. And there you have it. And if you press play here, already we have our own animated text overlay 
that looks brilliant over the top of our video. I love it. So you just press pause. Everything previews in real time. You can change the size of the preview window here. Yeah, you can make it full screen, which is brilliant. And press escape again to go out. And what we'll do is do a little bit of snipping here to snip out some bits we don't need. So we'll just split there and split there, delete what's in the middle, and then we'll have our own cut going from here to the next scene, seamlessly. And it's cut. So you can edit this way. This is a really good way to do it. You can also zoom in here with the scale tool like that to go a bit closer to the action and move the slider along the bottom to get closer. And we'll whack a transition in between as well. So transitions get from one clip to the other. And this also has some really, really good transitions. So you've got these um, extremely unique ones here like origami. Um, you have page turns, you have an origami valley, you have sort of folds, you have a sliding puzzle. Um, you've got sweeps, you have different scaling ones, you have shattering effects. Some of these are quite good. I actually might try that smear one and see what happens there. Put that in between. There you have it, one scene to the other, transitioned. So we'll just snip here again. And we will also add on top of this clip, you can do lens flares as filters here, okay? So you've got you know things like flying objects, light leaks, lens flares, mosaics, retro stuff, you can vignette. So that brings in a, a shadow around your uh, image to make it look more focused. But I love the light leaks because they're very cinematic. You can preview those by just clicking. And some of them are quite minimal, which looks really good. So we might do one that comes around the bottom. That one there, we'll add it to the clip. And as you can see, it will add the light leaks in. They come in and out naturally, overlaid onto your clip. And there you have it. You've got a transition, you've got an effect. Now what we'll show you is some call outs. We'll just do another edit here to the bridge. So we'll snip here, cut, press delete. Now we'll do a call to action here. Now call outs are really good for tutorials, for calling out action, for bringing your attention to something. And I might just go with a rectangle. I'm trying to think where to put it. Yes, that's it. Brings it in right there. Then, I think you can add text into it or it might just be there on its own. Yeah, that's there on its own. So what I will do is add text also. So we'll go apply. We will go to text. We will go do rhombus this one goes pretty well yes so we can add that next to that that's brilliant so we're just going to move it to here we're going to edit this here drag this out so it's all centered and there you have a call to action coming in and out so you can draw attention to things this way and do what you like with them you have lower thirds here which are brilliant for informative videos you can add slide ins there if you want to subscribe or join now or other calls to action also you have these sort of hipstery badge uh, text overlays which are always cool absolutely love those and my favorite are these two top ones the circle and the high definition film production style ones the circle is really cool. So these are all great effects. You also have music you can put in. So we're going to add some music. 
do this real quick. Pick a track. Let's get that one, that'll make it exciting. So you play here. Look at that, that's just easy editing right there. All right, we have a nice little video already. And you can fade in and out. All you have to do is click, double click your track. You can go video or audio on it. Uh, and on audio, you can actually, there's an equalizer, noise removal, audio effects, which is cool. So you can actually change the pitch of things and make them robotic and to speech as well. You've got beat detection here, which is really, really, really cool text the beat of the song see so you can actually time your clips to the beat of the song now I don't know another editor that does that two four one two three four one so you could actually time this to music it's really 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 cool no other <laughs> no other editor does that that I know of and what we want to do here is a fade out so we'll fade out for three seconds and that will fade really naturally out so we might clip some of this so that it's near the end of the music. Snip here. Go to this bridge again and we'll snip the end of the bridge. After our text, snipping there. Delete. Do another transition. This time we might do um, a bit more of a standard one. We'll do a crossfade. They're always good. So we'll crossfade into the next. Very nice. And there you have it. Now, there's also green screen effects here. Um, you can highlight things with these callouts. There's green screen effects where you can overlay one video on top of another. And one con to this program is that you can't really just whack another video on top of the other video uh, on the timeline. I might give it a shot here to see if it works. I'll grab another bit of footage. No, I take that back. It does work. You can just add your effects straight in there on top of each other and change the size and everything. Brilliant. So that's picture in picture. It does work absolutely fine. So I take that right back. Now you have um, narration here, so you can do a voiceover. You have transition wizards, so you can actually add transitions over every clip. You can crop things, zoom in, zoom out. You've got color correction also on your video, which is absolutely cool. Color adjustments. You can do manual or auto. So if the color is not quite right, which obviously in here it is because it's professional drone footage, but if it isn't quite right, you can adjust this super duper easily. Now, exporting, right, is a cinch, an absolute cinch. You have a massive export button here. So if you can't find it up here and you're looking around going, Duh, where is it? All you have to do is click export and you can export it as an MP4, uh, you know, MPEG-1, MPEG-2, all kinds of files. MKV, um, you can even do web, WebM, MOV. Uh, AVIs, of course we want MP4 because Twitter loves it, yeah. So you can choose where to export it, the type of quality, and look at that, the file size will change quite a lot depending on the compression, highest or good. But that's Movavi Editor. Now I've got a demo movie that I will upload um, to Facebook and Twitter and Gab and show you that uh, to show you exactly what Movavi can do in a, a short space of time. And you can already see here that this is a really feature rich editor. Um, just by the text overlays, the snipping, uh, I'll just show you how to put in music because I forgot. No, I did put in some music, didn't I? That's all good. So you can see how easy this is. I recommend this highly. I would actually give it 4.5 beards out of five. I absolutely love Mavavi Editor and I've been using it, used it previously before Filmora and now I've gone back to using this. Um, I'm actually going to use this to do my quick Beard Tech Quickie videos of previews of um, 
upcoming future projects and reviews and tech stuff. So this is Mavavi Editor. Links down below for 30% off. Absolutely crucial you get that. Grab this program. I think it's only uh, $60 retail, uh, depending on where you're from. But check down below for a cheaper price. I will give that to you happily. Highly recommend this. So I've been Luke from Beard Tech. You've been the audience. Please support me on Facebook and Twitter, but especially Patreon. Right now we're going through a hard time with the car. We super duper need your support to keep Beard Tech going week by week. So I've loved your feedback on my channel. Please keep doing that. Clicking like, clicking subscribe, checking out what we've got here. Remember the goal of Beard Tech is to get you free software quickly that you can use easily in your home for your business or for yourself. And uh, don't forget to share this with your friends who would find it useful who are looking for an editor that's feature rich. I've been Luke from Beer Tech and Breathe In Designs. You have been the audience. Have fantastic fun. We'll see you again next time. Cheers guys. <laughs>